Hi guys and welcome back to this short series on using Google Sheets for iPads. Last time we were looking at charts and images, including the benefits of using charts in our spreadsheets. We looked at different types of charts and how they could be used. And we also explored how to add images into our spreadsheet, either in cells or over the top of cells. This time we're going to be looking at Google Forms and how we can link the responses from a Google Form to a Google Sheet. We'll go over what Google Forms is and how it can be used, including the benefits of using Google Forms and linking it with Google Sheets, and how these two tools work together to create a safe database for a collection of data. Google Forms is probably one of the most useful and perhaps the most overlooked app on the Google Workspace platform, especially if you're going to connect Google Forms to Google Sheets. You can use Google Forms to collect a large amount of data, which you can then connect to the Google Sheets app to manage and analyze later. Now let's look through the steps needed to connect a Google Form to a Google Sheet. First, we're gonna to head to the Google Forms homepage, docs.google.com slash Forms. And on this page, you will see that there is an option to create a blank form. We're going to go ahead and tap that, and here's our new form. So let's call it something like All About You. And maybe our first question What is your name? That can be a short answer. Next question How old are you? Short answer. And once you've created your form and you've given it a name up here, then head to responses at the top and you'll see this option here, link to sheets. Now, if I tap that, I've got two options. First, I could create a new spreadsheet called All About You Responses, or I could select an existing spreadsheet I've already made to include the data on that instead. I'm going to start a new one. So I'm going to press create and it will, uh, it will create this spreadsheet. So let's go ahead and see what happens. Here we go, here's our new spreadsheet. And here it will collect all the data that comes from all the respondents to that form, including the timestamp when they submitted the form and their answers to my two questions. What is your name and how old are you? If I head back to the format I created, I can just check that that's worked by tapping this view in sheets. This is now going to open the linked spreadsheet I've just made. So there you have it. Whenever someone submits a response to my form, then their response will appear here on this sheet automatically. Thanks for joining me today on this short session on using Google Sheets to link with Google Forms. Next time, we are going to be talking about sharing and collaborating using Google Sheets. See you then.